four check pressure. They have a two on two the other way. Into the slot, backdoor feed in front, they score. Chips and chases, far corner. You add Haddad in the middle, push the puck to him behind the net. Haddad in front, one-timer, Colligan scores! And the long-time buddies, the Sydney Nova Scotia natives connect. And Colligan as his second pro goal. We're tied at one with 7.38 to go in the first. Colligan and Cameron to Malcolm's right. Another false start off the draw. Both sides very antsy on these face-offs, really trying to take advantage of the win. Colligan does win it. Pass up to Sevchenko. Quick shot in on net. They score. That one was tipped in from the top of the zone, and Maxime Legault makes it 2-1. Not a lot you can do as a goaltender on that one. It was a high shot from the point, and nice work by Legault to deflect this in without a high stick. Loon, near side half board, skates back and forth. Passes it over to Everson. Now Sevchenko top of the zone. Slap shot in. Rebound. They score. Another goal. Dirk Southern tips it in. It is three. One Gwinnett. Greenville was just not challenging the man at the point. They, they weren't doing a good enough job. They had all their guys parked down low. Well, the problem is Malcolm's giving up big rebounds. He gave up another big one there right to Dirk Southern on the far side of the crease. And he's just backhanded in an empty net. Springer now spins around and around with possession of the puck. Pass up to the point. Southern over to Merrifield. Merrifield outmatched here. Curry long pass. Here comes an opportunity. They score! That one came in on net. I believe it was Springer shot in on net. And it's 4-1 Gwinnett. That time the shot coming from the far side. It went in even before the Gladiator player ran into Malcolm driving hard in that front. Actually, I think it was tipped in by Merrifield. Culligan over the offensive blue line. Long ice pass intended for Haddad. But Yogan was able to stuff Haddad down to the ice. Long pass up ahead. Here comes Rowe all alone. He scores on the backhand. Clear around to the far half wall. Everson took it away from a Greenville forward. Gladiators, Piero Zabatel ahead for Walker. In on the backhand and just poke checked away by Malcolm at the last second. Now a silvering feed. They score. Piero Zabatel to Everson on the back door. It's 5 2 Gwinnett. The Gladiators offense did not quit on that play. You can look down on yourself. You know, Walker couldn't finish that chance. He had a wide open net. Gladiators didn't give up, even though Greenville's defense did. Southern around to the near half wall. Up top, past far point, Sevchenko back to the middle. Now we'll take it back, a quick shot. They score! Deflected in by Merrifield! And the route is on with 9.05 to go in the third at 6-2 Gwinnett. Just a nice tip right out in front. It looked like it wasn't going to go all the way through. There was so much traffic in front of Malcolm. But hey, when the puck finds the back of the net as often as it does, it just seems to keep happening and happening and happening. Loon up top, Sevchenko to the near side. One-timer, Curry scores! And Gwinnett gets Greenville back for the cheap shot on Guggenberger. Curry, a one-timer right through the legs of Jeff Malcolm. 7-2 Gwinnett. Around from behind the net with speed. Clark will clear behind the Gwinnett goal. Clark around to the near circle. Pass up top, big one-timer, and they score through traffic. I believe it went through the legs of Guggenberger, and it's now a 7-3 game. Greenville wins the draw, Nichols in the slot, save Guggenberger to the near side, and that will do it. 7-3, Gwinnett crushes Greenville at home. A thorough game for the Gladiators again. A couple of scary moments in the first, sec in the first period, some parts of the second period, but you look at the numbers. After giving up that first goal to Greenville, Gwinnett scores four goals all by themselves. And that's what really sealed the deal, taking this one 7-3.